Hey everybody, I'm Ted McDonald, and we are going to do a little 15 minute yoga warm up. So, when you're ready, come to your mat, come to the front of your mat, bring the palms together, take a nice big breath, relax the shoulders, start to draw the breath in and out of the nose. Hmm, just take a moment to relax here and breathe. Start to become more aware of your own body and your breathing. Go ahead and drop your head down over to one side. Give it a good stretch on the neck. Drop the opposite shoulder down. And when you're ready, back over to the other side. And breathe into that stretch. Nice, good, smooth, even breaths. All right, bring the head back up. Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms. Interlace the fingers. Take the arms straight up behind you. Straighten the arms as much as you can. Drop the shoulders down. Slight engage in the belly. Breathe deep. Toes spread. Fold to one side here. Get a little side stretch. Breathing. And back over to the other side. A little stretch. And just make sure the abdomen stays tight. And just feel it out there. Take one more big inhale. Lean back. And then all the way forward as you exhale. Good. Head and neck relaxes. If your legs are tighter here, make sure that you bend your knees a little bit to protect the back. Just stretch the spine, stretch the legs, totally relax. When the body relaxes, the breath relaxes. And as you are ready, you can start to flip the hands behind your back, interlace the fingertips, stretch the shoulders. See if you can get the shoulders up away from the ear slightly so you find some space in the neck. The whole idea really is to create a little bit more space in your body, create a little bit more flexibility. The energy runs more fluidly through your body. The Blood runs more fluidly through your body. Dropping the arms when you're ready and engage your belly and slowly begin to roll up to standing. And we'll do some arm circles here on one side. Just breaking up some of that stiffness and stagnation in the body. Switching sides when you're ready. Just breathing all the time, just kind of feeling it out a little bit. And then we're gonna flap the arms side to side. Just keep the knees bent slightly, abdomen engaged, and just kind of get loose a little here, breaking up some of the energy in the spine. A little twist. Good. And then when you're ready, step to the front of your mat. Bring the palms together. Eyes closed, take a nice big breath. Inhale, take the arms way up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Drop the head down. And then as you inhale, lengthen the spine forward. Step back to plank pose. Top of a push-up plank pose. Hands spread wide, fingers spread. Abdomen engaged, thighs engaged. Breath smooth, even. Take a nice big inhale, we're gonna do a few push-ups. Lower halfway down on the exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back up. Exhale, back down. Five times, inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. And inhale, up. And then, uh, exhale. Good, inhale, nice. One more. All the way to the mat. Good, easy back bend. So you just want to keep the butt relaxed, hips on the floor, lengthen the spine, shoulders kind of pull down the spine, breath is smooth. Just feel it out. Don't go too far. Make sure if anything hurts, you go a little bit easy. Turn the head to the left side. A little stretch back to the right side. Easy stretch on the neck. Back to the center. A little bit higher. Inhale. Child's pose for a moment on the exhale. Notice your spine, notice your breathing, any tension, tightness anywhere, just go slow through that area. You don't wanna move too fast, injuring yourself or causing any tweaks or tightness in the body. Downward facing dog from here. Go ahead and tuck the toes, come on up. 
And then right away, just take a moment, bend one leg, press the opposite heel down, breathe. At the same time you press the heel down, lift the sit bone up. So fingers spread, lengthening the shoulders, and then lengthening the back of that leg, switching legs, breathing. Good, you guys. Straightening both legs when you're ready. So long upper body, come up on the toes, walk softly the first time to the hands. Just a couple steps up. Lengthen that spine as you inhale, fold down as you exhale, drop your head. Come all the way up. One nice big inhale, lifting up. Hands together at the heart. Now we begin three times, Siri Namaskar A. Arms up, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen the spine as you inhale, look forward. Step, or you can jump back as you exhale. Lower down, chaturanga halfway down. Easy inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders pull back. Exhale, downward facing dog, step the feet in. Breath smooth, even, fingers spread, palms flat down, neck relaxes, face relaxes, shoulders extend, gently pressing the thighs back, heels down when you're ready. Again, come up on the toes, walk or lightly hop to the hands. Good, lengthen the spine as you inhale, fold down as you exhale. All right, all the way up, nice big inhale, let the breath take you all the way up. Palms together, hands to the heart. Two more, just like that. Big inhale, lifting the arms up. Fold all the way down, forward, exhale. Drop the head down. Excellent, lengthen the spine, look forward, inhale. Step or lightly jump, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, maybe a little extra push up, downward facing dog. Breathing, so same thing, feel it as if it's the first time. Head relaxed, shoulders lengthen, thighs press back, heels down, lifting the sit bone up, breathing deep on the toes again when you're ready. Nice big inhale, walk or hop, forward, exhale. Good, extend the spine, inhale, step or fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale, Hands together at the heart, exhale. Just optimizing each movement. Inhale again, take a big breath, lift up. Fold all the way forward, exhale. Good, lengthen the spine as you inhale, look forward. Step or lightly, hop back, exhale. Good, inhale, shoulders pull back, heart opens. And maybe a little push up, downward facing dog. Good, you guys, from here, breathing. When you're ready, take the right leg up, we move on. Second warm up here, sun salutation B. Lifting the right leg, lift it up. And then when you're ready, after a little stretch on the left, shoulders forward, knee straight down the center to the forehead, squeeze the core. Then lift the leg back and up, forward across over to the left side. Strong abdomen, strong arms, lifting the leg back and up, over to the right, elbow or tricep, lift it back and up, all the way through to the hands. Stay on the back toes, pause here for a moment, come on the fingertips, and then as you're ready, inhale, straighten the leg, flex the foot, exhale, bend the leg, sink the hips down. Inhale, straighten and flex, you're getting the hamstring, exhale, bend down, you get the hip on the opposite side. Hamstring on the inhale, straighten, exhale, hip. Inhale, and exhale, good, inhaling, last one here, exhaling, and then when you're ready, turn the back foot flat down, maybe one extra, <laughs> and then turn the back foot flat down, and then warrior one, so warrior one, check your stance first, so front foot straight forward, back foot angles at a 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock angle, depending if it's the left foot is back. Reach up, palms together, deep, deep inhale, lift up, 
and then both hands down from there, take the leg back. Abdomen strong as you lower, elbows in. Nice, inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe that little extra push up. Left side right away, take the leg up behind you, hold it up there. Breath or two, three, stretching the back of the leg. One more big inhale, lift it up. And then when you're ready, Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the forehead. Squeeze it in deep, strong belly. Good, lift it back and up. And then forward, across, over to your right side. Twist, squeeze, strong arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, over to the left, tricep. Inhale, lift the leg back and up. All the way through to the hands, good. Stay on the back toes. As you inhale, straighten the leg, flex the foot. Exhale, sink down, stretch the hip. Inhale, lengthen and stretch. Exhale, bend down, sink. Good, inhale, flex and straighten the leg, hamstring. Exhale, hip stretch, sink down. Two more, inhale and exhale, just feeling it out. Inhale and exhale. Good, then when you're ready, maybe one more time. And then turn the back foot flat down from there and come to warrior one. Warrior one, relax the shoulders, arms up. Sink down, let your body kind of find you its own warrior one. So back foot angle is more at a two o'clock angle this time, gently sinking the hips down, slight engage in the belly. When you're ready, palms together, reach the arms up, take a nice big, big inhale, and then all the way down, exhale. Good, lower. Inhale up, heart opens, shoulders pull back. Exhale, maybe a little extra push up, downward facing dog. Good, hold it here, breathe, couple breaths. Lengthen that spine, lengthen the shoulders, relax the head and the neck, breathe. Hmm. All right, when you're ready, up on the toes, walk or lightly hop to the hands. Could extend the spine, look forward, drop the head down, fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms up. Let's go about 30 seconds here, just enough to kind of warm up a little bit. So feet together, thighs together, knees together, slight engage in the belly, dropping the hips down, reaching the arms up away and back by the ears. Keep breathing. Good, maybe sinking a little bit deeper. Keep the breath smooth, inhale, and then stand up, hands together at the heart, exhale. Good, take a nice big full breath. And then when you're ready, next inhale, back to chair, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs, drop the head. Good, lengthen the spine, inhale, then step or lightly, hop back, exhale. Good, inhaling up, shoulders back, exhale, downward facing dog. Now we put it together, right side, take the leg up, bring it through. Warrior one, big inhale, deep bend in the front leg. Exhale, both hands down, take the leg back. Slowly lower. Inhale, heart open, stretch the spine. Exhale, maybe a little extra push up, left side. Big inhale, all the way through. Back foot turns, deep bend in the front leg, lift up. Inhale, let it all go, hands down. Abdomen pulls that leg back and helps you lower down. Flip over the toes, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Hold it here. One, two, three, four, five breaths, whatever you need. Totally relaxing, breathing deep, feeling the space in the shoulders and the fingers and the spine and the back of the legs and the hips. When you're ready, take one more breath and then up on the toes, walk or hop to the hand. Good, lengthen the spine, feel the stretch in the legs. Fold down and chair pose again. Inhale, standing up, hands together, exhale. All right, two more to go. Back to chair pose, inhale, folding forward, straighten the legs, exhale. 
lengthen the spine. Inhale, step or hop back. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg, big inhale, lift it up, stretch. Exhale, bring it through. Back foot turns, warrior one, reach up. Hands down, let it go. Lower, abdomen strong. Good, inhale, little deeper in the spine. Downward facing dog. Left side, take it up, big inhale. All the way through, reach it up there. Warrior one, big inhale. And then both hands down, take the leg back, lower. You get tired, lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, spinal stretch, exhale. A little push up maybe, down dog. Hold here, breathe. So breath in and out of the nose. The breath is used to calm the mind. So breathe deep in and out of the nose, calm your heart rate. Use the breath as a tool to relax your brain and your body. On the toes again, walk or jump to the hands. Lengthen as you inhale, fold down as you exhale. Chair pose again, nice big inhale, reach up, and then stand, hands together. One more cycle, here we go. Inhale, chair pose, exhale, fold. See if you can feel your way through it. Lengthen as you inhale, step or hop back as you exhale. Good, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right side all the way through warrior one big inhale up exhale down vinyasa or not you could always skip this little vinyasa if you want to maybe take the little extra push up if you're feeling stronger right to the left side inhaling and exhaling back foot turns big breath up reach hands down let it go vinyasa Downward facing dog. <sighs> and then when you're ready, drop to the knees, put the head down, child's pose, totally relaxed. Right about now, you're feeling warm, body's loose, and you're ready to go about your day. <laughs>